Okay. Whew. We're back. We are back. Good to see it worked. I agree. It's good. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little <laughs> distracted there by the enchantment table. Anyways, I must say, I really enjoyed that end world, especially the cool armor. They gave us all the set yeah. pieces. That was really cool. Fortunately, it didn't come with us. But it does seem stable. Yeah, it does. It's connected to the anchor point, at least. Though, to actually tell if it's stable, I think we need multiple tests. Are you up for another trip? <sighs> nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I guess. Let's do it. All right. Well then, without further ado, three, two, one. What oh the? my goodness! I did not. What expect the heck? It. This is, oh, this is so close. Wait, wait, wait! This is bedrock, dude. We, we can't get out. What's this? Tiny compact machine. Why? Wait. Oh my goodness! We have things. What does this say? Oh no! You've been trapped. Here, take this handy personal shrinking device and click on the block in the floor. That should get you going. Oh? Ooh. Ooh, a quest. So it said to click Give me this. my torch back. Oh. Where'd you go? I'm in your legs. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This is weird. You got Wait. a new quest though. I have two personal shrinking devices now. <gasps> Dual wield the personal shrink device. <laughs> might want to be careful i'm too powerful is this I mean, really our world oh so much brighter <gasps> what the oh. heck wait what was that oh what Ow, it hurt. how did you get so much stuff like dirt i punched the walls they're growing so fast though what the <gasps> maybe it is sneaking they're growing really fast now that we're sneaking dude this is so weird what the heck yeah this is weird i got a table oh i see oh what the what was flip that? was that? John, please don't guess us out in here. It's only a three Wait, by three. Do you have something in your inventory? <laughs> Ew, don't give me your, your waste. That wasn't me. Oh, right click it on dirt to turn it into... Oh, dude, I can eat it. Ugh. That is disgusting, dude. John, don't, don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one was you again. I saw it happen. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. It like filled me up all the way and I have full health. What can I say? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I've got magical poop. What can I say? Oh. Whoa. Wait, Wait what is this though? Oh, <gasps> I got pebbles. Okay, what are we growing down here? Hemp. Illegal drugs. Now we can get the oh. dirt stuff without ruining our freaking lives. Awesome. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what? That's cool. Maybe we could get moisture from somewhere. Water. Slowly. <laughs> can I just take a second to say, this is literally the smallest world I've ever been in. Imagine if we brought Sky and Grace along. Oh, yeah. no. I'm glad we decided not to for this time. <laughs> Yeah, me too. That would be fun though. <laughs> would it though? Oh, oh. Pog! Okay, that was you. Okay. Yo, Pog! Water. Yo, we're speedrunning <laughs> this bad boy! <laughs> You're really gassy. Ta da! Chest. <laughs> Can I have the gravel that you have? Thanks. I'm gonna iron pick us. Oh, that goes so quick! Whoa, Yo. you're getting all this good stuff. How are we gonna even fit this all together in this tiny place? Is it gonna get cramped? What's modularium? Modularium? Oh, pulverized uranium. iron and uranium. I okay. can give some of that. We're gonna have to tear this all down. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> um. It is so compact in here. Also. Bleh. 
Yes, look at that. There's Infinite tiny rooms. Yo, we can make more of these rooms. I don't Wait, know if this me. I don't know if this toss or if this tops the other world. But this is crazy. Oh boy, the mega crafts. <gasps> that's what it that's what's out in the bedrock area, yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo! So okay, finally, we need more chest space. My inventory is so full. The auto clicker is also able to get stuff from the hard wall surrounding you. Make this new best friend. Make sure you have one block distance. Auto clicker space you need to know. Look at this. If you right click, you can see the structure. I love the way this sounds. The compact machine wall when you walk on it. Oh, potatoes. We're growing potatoes. And it looks like we have a lot more to do. In oh, just this same my. machine. Oh, you're not even sorting it right. What? You made the sorting system. You moved the chest. I was too lazy to wait for it to come back. The, the chest for it to go in is this one that wasn't moved. No, <laughs> you moved it after I made the mistake. Oh. <gasps> You got it? Look at him being a productive guy over there. I was talking about you. John! Yes. Yo! Auto click! Auto click! What? <laughs> what? Ah, oh, you broke it again. Hey, that's not very nice. Oh, you put it at the top speed. You know that doesn't work. It doesn't have any RF. Dang it. I wanted it to like freaking own you. Oh my Whoa. gosh. <laughs> Look what I got us. Cash. You can taste the wealth on Ooh. it. Yo. Look at this Sweet. storage. Oh uh, yeah, we can definitely see what's in each of these. Okay, I'm sorry. We don't have much to work with. Copper. Should I make more cash or is there something even better? You should make more cash. Okay. Hit that subscribe button right now. How much of this do I need? Four Invar, four bronze. Cool. I need more Invar. <laughs> I'm s hey, hey, we have one crafting table to work with. Here, I can fix this. You keep getting in the way. <laughs> Stop I, I'm trying to put this stuff away. Oh, <gasps> Pooh gives me night vision? Oh. <laughs> At least we have some breathing room from each other, finally. Finally. So how big of a bomb are we looking to create? Yes, big. A big boom. Am I going to immediately explode if I go in there? <laughs> only, only one, one way, way to find out. <laughs> exactly. The TNT's gone. How? I don't know. It's It's gone. Yeah, I think we need another one of these. <laughs> you think? <laughs> My bowl of cereal. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Do you realize all this was scavenged out of the corners of the walls? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible to fit 12 thermoelectric generators inside a single tiny machine. If you place flux ducts in the center, water and uranium in all corners, and thermoelectric generators along the edges, you should be golden. What is on your head? <laughs> it's a hazmat helmet. I look so weird. <laughs> you don't have a face, dude. Stonks. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have so much dirt left over. This room is just the mining room. Okay, I have 53 sand. If I don't get at least three aluminum here, I'm gonna be sad. <gasps> Got aluminum. <gasps> Got two aluminum. <gasps> Got three aluminum. So now if I smack the wall. Yeah. Oh. I've upgraded all the chests to strong boxes. I've been pooping and churning out redstone. The last bit of progress is I did a bunch of quests. Let's make a metal press. I think we have all the materials. Oh, 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 oh. I'm stuck. Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Second try. Oh, that's so sick! What? And I'll pick him up. <laughs> Ta-da! Yo! Look at it move! That's cute. That's very cute. And I don't say that very often. Our precious space is getting destroyed. 
It's unusable now. <laughs> it hurts seeing it getting crushed like that with how little space we have, but that's a quest. Oh, it's a five by five by, dude, we're gonna have so much room. Oh. Dude, Yo. we have so much room. Yes. <laughs> Burger time. Hold left click against the wall. Nope, the wall, the wall. <laughs> what? Whoa, what? <laughs> what the heck? Whoa, dude. <laughs> This Keep going. Is, this is speed running at the maximum level. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I found this out the other day. It's a huge what waste of heck? gold, but I love it. <laughs> this is so awesome. Listen to the sound. <laughs> oh man so you took a nap and then i took a nap so i made these colorful rooms here and uh yes. it totally didn't take me forever but you're a heavy <laughs> sleeper so i did it so you gotta show me what you did now so i did this don't go in this is a thermal cube this is the max number of thermoelectric generators you can fit into if this size of cube it makes power you see this under here? We're gonna need power to the crusher, which will be in this one, you said? We're putting it in the blue room? Yeah. Let's go to storage. I like what you did with the place. I know, I do, I do too. It's purple, so I got that. Just a ton of caches. Well, I woke up in one of these corners with a chest inside my legs. Okay, I'm, I think I'm getting this. Voila. And I'm gonna guess. Did it do a lot of damage? Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to, it's one of those things I had to try it out for myself. We need 16 small compact machines because we need four oh, small ones. Oh, for a normal. Oh, I, I didn't know we were making a normal one. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Yes. Look at them go. I, I have us to... four compact machines. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, it pooped it out on the bottom. Couldn't quite go that high. <laughs> Yo, this is so big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven by seven. This is so much bigger than our three by three. Let's see, it does. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's oh. like Skyblock, but not Skyblock. <sighs> All right, John, I saw you. I just woke up from a nap. Things have changed. Can you. Please show me what you've done. Yes. I did a little bit of work to get to the nuclear melter. This stuff is auto cobblestone and lava generation. So the first one makes cobblestone. This makes lava out of the cobblestone. And this is almost 200 buckets of lava. So I made automatic wood here. Man, thank goodness I have you here. And thank goodness we have this mysterious book to guide us along. Cause if we were stuck here, this whole time, like just punching the wall, I think I would want to die right about now. <laughs> so this, I found out we don't need the entire room. You just need one block space next to it and this height to make all the trees. So I got a lot of wood. Whoa, what the, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck? We got another oven. I mean, you built another oven. Yes, this is the first oven we needed. A coke oven and if you look inside of there there's block of cold coke which takes forever to smelt from the trees i needed the logs to make charcoal so i made a whole bunch of charcoal in these furnaces so and that's charcoal, where all my poop went you put the charcoal in here and it changes it into cold coke i made the improved blast furnace which changes iron into steel Oh, okay. I moved some things around. So now we have energy to the auto clickers, which you've seen because you've been doing stuff with that. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes to the room with the nuclear stuff I was telling you about. <gasps> this one. And yes, and also goes to the crusher and the big log room, Thanks. which powers our sawmill by putting the bonsai oak saplings in the garden cloche and it pushes it into the sawmill. And if you want to go back into this room, it pipes it out through a tunnel 
which we may be able to see Whoa. in a second. And you can see it goes into here. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay. And we got 22,000 oak planks. <laughs> and a ton of sawdust, too. Yeah, I checked off a bunch of things on that list. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice item. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, been, I've just been sleeping in this red room because it smells of, of um, hemp and wheat. Find the blade. Oh, there it is. Ta-da. Let's go. Let this looks so cool. Oh, now we uh, need to power it. Okay. Did you make the hop graphite ingot? This is very yes. pure and 100% sustainable. Oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. I see it. I see it. Ooh. We got three. I got it here. Infinite storage. Okay, here's the craft. <sighs> Oh yeah, 64k. Let's go. And I can chuck everything in here without really worrying much. Hmm, I think we're fun. I'm just gonna make some tough alloy armor. Nice, I look sick. John took a nap. I think it's time that I get to take a nap too now. I see you've done a lot. Mm-hmm, I have indeed. <laughs> I got us this large compact machine and inside oh. I moved pretty much everything. Okay. And then down here is the enchantment did a lot. Room. Yeah, yeah, I've done a lot. You've decided to just go hibernate on me for some reason. <laughs> I wasn't asleep that long. I, you did a lot yeah, more than right. I did when you were asleep. You're right. I just, I like going speedy. I'm, I'm, I'm a speedy boy. So, oh, and also I have these I enchanted tools. I didn't expect you to make a whole another sized room already. Also, I upgraded these furnaces a lot and they're really fast and I made eight of them. Also, I'm working on getting us snowballs for some reason, and we need liquid XP for something. So yeah, as okay. you can tell, I've, I've been going crazy in here while you've been sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> you do a lot more in your time than I do. The only <laughs> thing I've done is fix your servo issue. Mm -hmm. There's 12 generators, and they might each make 20 RF per tick, maybe. Oh, it's not actually that much. <laughs> okay. You've jumped ahead so much that we didn't even have time to make a new power source. Mm hmm. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. I, I like this place. If I'm being honest, if everyone could just come here, that would be the life. Imagine everyone being here right when we got here. Well, not, not right when we got days. here. Now that we're advanced, this large compact machine took forever to, to make. I had to make four of these normal compact machines, and then it took- 6,000 iron, 6,000 uranium, and almost 2,000 redstone, right? Yeah, and something like that. Logs. I, I didn't count because that's your job, but it took a lot of stuff. And you said we need the maximum compact machine. Yeah, if you look at it, if you go to like the uh, blueprint- we need we need a machine controller, 56 superconducting electromagnets, 20 compact machine walls. Just to make the maximum machine, we need 9,000 plates, 200,000 uranium, 200,000 iron, 70,000 redstone, 1,500 bucks of sewage, and 7 ender pearls. What? We only have, like, 16,000 uranium. Oh, this is all of the stuff that I spent 30 minutes crafting. I made a glitched machine. That's something I meant to bring up to you. It looks really weird in there. Do you want to go explore for a second? I'm just overloaded with all the quests I just got. So then I believe we just right click and can't apparently we can't anything? punch anything. Yeah. Replace anything. What is, there's a quest for this. Why is it so red here? Glitched adventures. Oh, it gives us cool rewards. Dude, we could get bedrock leggings. We need Yo, that. Oh, we need to get that. Yeah. Oh, where? Um. Oh shoot, something's, uh, something's shooting me. What, what's happening? <laughs> it's so bright out here. Just it is, saying. it is so bright. I know. Did you die? Oh. No, I just get teleported back. Why does this blaze? Oh, wait, he doesn't have a lot of health. I'm just bad at aiming. Okay. Yo, what the heck? You gotta, you gotta come here. Hunter. What? I'm getting no, yeeted. I'm Why do these do skeletons... Have... <laughs> these skeletons have trumpets. What? You have a grapple? Yo! That is sick. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is 
for. Hey, I got it. Okay, I'm, nice. I'm definitely taking those bedrock leggings. Time to go! I'm glad you made all that modularium and machine wall. That was very helpful. Yeah, you're welcome. And, okay, I got the pattern grid. Thanks for getting this stuff for me, by the way. It'll become helpful. You're welcome. When also, I use it. yes, and I also got the poop. What's it called? Pressure poop injector. I got all the materials yes. for that. Thank you for making the extra large, extra large, the large compact machine that the, is extra. The additional. <laughs> yes. The additional. It helped me complete the quest. The next one is miniaturization. Have you done anything with that? The only thing I've done is gotten the miniaturization field projectors. That actually looks really cool. Oh, uh, shoot. So, oh. What Ooh. the? Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. Throw this into the miniaturization field to start the crafting process. It says there's 26 obsidian, so I'm guessing this block of redstone goes in the very middle. Yeah, and I also didn't see anything on the exterior, so I'm with you on that. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. It's getting smaller. <gasps> the next quest is the giant compact machine. Don't even have a book. <laughs> don't even have leather. What is this? We don't even have three pressed off. We have two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm, we're out of power. Should we make another power thing so that we have more power? We can make a bunch more. But we can make it in a bigger room. <gasps> Let's do it. So you know how we had 12 thermoelectric generators in that tiny room? And we thought that was good. But with this one, there's 12 on just one layer. Oh, sick. What else can we use the miniaturization field for? We can make tunnels easier. <laughs> what is this? Huh? Oh my gosh, we got 16 from that. And that's from nine iron and two redstone. That normally to took like a stack of modularium. This makes the compact machine creation so much easier. Now, maximum compact machine only needs 24,000 uranium, 10 times less. Dude, that one looks so cool. Oh, if you thought the other ones looked cool, this one looks cool. Two tunnels, I got two tunnels from it. I think I fixed the problem. Radiation is the solution. <laughs> Oh my. I have something for you. Oh, is this for like back to the future stuff? If you hit V while holding it, it'll change the mode. And your last gift. This. Oh. Huh. <gasps> oh, sweet. Yes, thank yeah. you for this. They call me the energy man because all I have is energy. <sighs> hey, John. Hello. Good morning. Or <laughs> we don't know what time it is in here. <laughs> Give me some poop. It's sort of nice, <laughs> just sleeping. Yeah. So what have you done? I added a second wall. So what this does is it melts sulfur and it goes through all these things with oxygen and water being key ingredients. We also need diorite, fluorite water, and whatever comes out of this makes something else, which we needed. And it goes into here. That must have been in hibernation. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, you've been working on other things. I don't know why. It's probably the lack of oxygen in this place that we nap a lot. Yeah, that, we have more um, oxygen right here, sense. so we should be able to stay up longer now with these. Just hook herself up to the oxygen tube. <laughs> Just break the tube and stick your mouth in it. <laughs> Let's go in here. Oh, you did make it, though. <laughs> I did make it. Take it. Oh, that is huge. Hey, Good luck. thank you. Quest. You will probably not like this, but I'll, I'll not like it more. Just saying. Ta-da. Looks fine to me. Yeah, but it could, it's just extra wires out in the middle, and there's this wire here. It just gets messy. Yeah, we who don't cares, have though? We're, this base to be messy. We're going to be out of here soon enough anyways, yeah. Hopefully. Speaking of which, later we got to make that machine. We have all the materials for it. I have another step for it. If we want to go into this one. Hey, the I pressure poop. I remember this. Dip. Yeah, you made this. I made this section right here. It. We automated the sewage. So now is it going to do the thing? Oh, it's working. It's working. It's done. <gasps> here we go. Look, look. Now we're getting the sewage in. Oh my goodness. Nice. Here, you can have one. It looks pretty sweet. Now we need machine casing and 20 compact. Did 
you want to do the honors of the Ender Berlin? I would indeed. Oh, yes, here we yes. go. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for a little while. I can't imagine how slow the next size will be. Oh, my. And to spear. Oh. Yo. Oh. Yes. Let's go. Giant potential. Yeah. I'm going to load it first. Oh, it doesn't even look that much bigger. But I guess it is. What do you want to automate? Do you want to automate ender pearls? Sure. So what do you need to make an ender pearl? A ton of obsidian and redstone blocks. Right click one of the corners and then go and shift right click the opposite corner. Area copied. Sweet. Ta -da. And then you just chuck your redstone. Cool. And that's the basic steps done. <laughs> I'm gonna do a naughty. <laughs> hey, it's working. Let's go. Hey, look at that. We're slowly making way. Yes! Oh, I'm so skilled. I'm so skilled. Oh, dang. We already have 2.9 thousand compact missions. We're actually getting close. What? Hey. Let's go. Oh, did you see that? That was sick. I'm actually getting rather tired. This uh, project took a bit. Oh my gosh, I saved you. Yeah. I think we let this go and wake up to everything we need. Yeah, that sounds stonks. Wait, did you see the name of my compact machine? Was it stonks? Stonks. I've got you a gift. <gasps> really? <gasps> Thank you. Okay, well, you can have my second gift, which is my less cool bed. And a couple of stars to look at in the sky. Good night. Snooze. All right. Peace. <laughs> Hello. Hey, John. Hi. So, how have things been going? I decided since last time you were all in for, like, doing a bunch of manual work and weren't into the automation too much. I decided to get the grind on and do a whole bunch of automation for one. Oh. Huh. There's this. Oh, d you got a maximum compact. Wait, isn't that the largest? Yo, dude. The, it wasn't all that hard. I got six giant machines. Six. The automation we had set up last time you were awake was really helpful. And I also had two more giant machines, which with this machine, I was able to, if you look in the system, we have Another maximum compact machine. Oh yeah, maximum overdrive. Oh yeah. Which means the next step is the high impact compactor. I had another giant compact machine that I turned into another maximum. You just look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. What, how long have you been working on this thing? Well, this one was actually pretty easy. I just had a copy paste gadget that I put my formulas in and it put all the things I needed. If you saw the inside, it would be very complicated. <laughs> well, I'm seeing the inside. All those blue things. That's oh, kind of cramped. I was worried reminds it would spawn me... you in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of the... <laughs> when we first got in here. Right-click this lithium bi battery. Okay, and it holds store. 32 million RF. Just so you know, it says it burns for 60 minutes, makes 120 RF per tick, and generates 50 heat per tick. Would you mind flipping this lever for me and then looking back in? Oh, a green bar, yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to move up in 60 minutes. <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> Holy crap. What the? <laughs> look at the battery. Wait, the battery. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> You're telling me that thing that took like three seconds to do its thing, that gave us like 20, almost 22 million RF? The other reactors just don't even compete. Okay, well, I can see you've been busy. Well, the only thing I really did is... I just have been bashing this dash pickaxe on the ground because I knew we needed some diamond pickaxe, or we needed a diamond pickaxe, which we need diamonds, which we need hopstitute, or I guess hop yeah. graphite. So I got us almost four stacks of hopstitute. Yeah, I was working a little bit on the hop graphite dust. If we step out and into the yellow one, I moved the crusher in here, and this line of things is to make coke dust, which makes the hop just pulled out. Oh, okay. So basically I'm making coal, which makes the hop process faster. Oh. I put charcoal in this strong box and it just goes through this line of machines to turn into coal coke here. Huh. 
Ah, okay. Did you make this 1024K storage disk? Yep, I did. We would be overflowing. What is this room? This is the auto crafting room. What is First, this thing? What is... This thing holds all of our oh. uh, crafting patterns. Right here, I'm making dust, sand, and clay. This is sifting dust automatically, very slowly to make sulfur and bone meal. Also, I made the tree automation better. Yeah, okay. Mm, oh my gosh, that is so satisfying. Whoa. And auto plants it as well. Oh, using the coffee paste gadget? Yeah, I have two modes, one sapling replenish mode and two just go ham mode. I like the go ham mode just saying. That looks so sick. If you put them all in a line. What the heck? Yep. It's like one of these, but like surrounded as well. Dude. Though the prop. <laughs> Dude, wait, wait, wait. You could like, this is like a frame for me. It's like a portrait frame. Mm -hmm. Why, hello there. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm going to make a chicken spawn egg. Oh, it's a chicken. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this works. What? The kiss of life. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have life. Wait, this is the first intelligent life. We needed some room for it. What about me. our bedroom? Our bedroom? Chicken. <laughs> we can make a cow? <laughs> it seems like it. James and Janessa, do you read me? Oh, I think they I think they're intelligent. Very. You put a brain in there when you made it, right? Yep. Well, it was kind of hollow, actually. <laughs> so, these guys might be a little brainless. I don't think I did that right. No, I didn't. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's what's the cow's name going to be? George. Milk. Milk. Here, wait. Milk. Oh, it sounds so juicy too. That's kind of gross. I gotta work on the fusion reactor. It should be simple, but I gotta be careful so as not to let it explode. Unfortunately, it blew up a lot of my cables, so we re we lost a couple of our cryo stabilized flux ducts. We lost lost some electromagnets, though we have extra electromagnets. But I don't think we need to use this again. Right, because we have the neutron fluid and the tritium funny story i got everything i was like cool i'm gonna shut it down now so it ran out of the fluid because i put just about how much we needed in it when it ran out i shut off the power to it and like cool it's not going to explode what i didn't realize is because it didn't have any fuel in it the temperature for it to overheat and melt down was much much lower and so yeah it exploded as it was turning off this feels so epic it's all led down to this diamonds then the controller goes here inside the machine where you can't reach it. Because Good that you know. seemed like a smart idea when constructing it. Yeah. I guess we'll have to tear it apart. And now it is time for the maximum machine. You need 56 of these bad boys? Yep. How many do you still have? Uh, 16. The last... Superconducting electromagnets, which <laughs> require a thousand RF per tick to stay active. So 56,000 RF per tick just to stay active. I hope this isn't one to explode. Another vacuum fluid input hatch, which means these go here. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Howard. Oh, it's turning green. It's green. Oh, oh. Ah. missing input item. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's go. Hard to pick on the block. Okay, you ready? Tiny Might coal. Enchant that. Pulverized platinum. Hey, Wait, did enchant, really enchant, enchant that, please. <laughs> oh, please. yeah. Stop and enchant that. Percent chance of a better. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Bruh, look at this pickaxe. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're mining away. <laughs> Please don't die! <laughs> that was fun. Oh my gosh. Dude, we're swimming in the diamonds. Oh my gosh. You're just dropping poop out of your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chunks of concentrated hardness. Throw it in the fire. No! Alright, I'm bored. Let's automate it. <laughs> I don't know why you did. We decided to do it here, but <laughs> we did. Thanks to the brains, I'm hoping that we wake up with like ten thousand bedrock chunks. Hello. Hello. If you look in our system, we almost have three hundred and thirty-three bedrock chunks. <laughs> yeah. Just one. Plate. Which is nuts. It is. That took me forever to get one chunk, and we have. 332. I was actually surprised how quick we got the chunk. I yeah. also switched out one of the diamond pickaxes to be a dash pickaxe. And at one point I thought I noticed it was boron. Oh yeah, I did switch it to boron as well because we needed more quartz. Do you want to know why? <laughs> Holy cow! 17 million quartz. <laughs> that is nuts! We had 16k and now we're at 16,384k. Oh. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Yes, 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 of course. Yeah, this. This is nice. Nuclear furnaces, huh? This is so intricate. Like, I'm just thinking about my... My home that I had on the Sky SMP, and this is so much more sophisticated. We have just so much stuff. Yeah. I'm kind it, of into it. I know. I'm totally digging it. The refuel reprocessor, we put the depleted LU-235 in, and it splits it up into these these tiny pieces which we can use for fuel for more reactors or better fuel i made another maximum compact machine used the diamond block <laughs> that was helpful i made this yeah it's just pretty casual well, it's three nuclear reactors and i'm running two right now and i don't have enough space to fully run these so up there's a third one which i don't have the fuel for yet and i'm using these reactors and the fuels that I just showed you to make another fuel to put in there to make the Berkelium 247 that I need for the block. Berkelium 247 block is 600 times crucible heat source. Depleted MOX 239. It gets us 238P242, Americium 243, and Curium 243. And this side, it's basically the same thing, but different numbers. It only gives me 500 megarads. I found something kind of fun. This sounds so weird. Should we make bedrock stuff? Yeah, let's do it. We have a ton of oh, diamonds sorry. as well. So I'm going to come out here. Yeah, I think I went a little overboard on the diamonds. Okay, I'm going to put all of the bedrock chunks in. All right. 500. It, turned on. Wait, it just hit 574,000 RF a tick. <gasps> 500. Yo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is amazing. This is such a cool crafting recipe. Oh. Okay. We depleted 16 LU-235 for that. Oh! Yo. Dude, I am so, I am so kidded for anything. Like you can punch me, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even- you like tickled me. You- you just t you're tickling me. You just- it doesn't even hurt. You- Okay, it's doing a little- barely got you below the normal. Okay, now you're at half health. Nice. The ultimate craft! Yo! Oh yeah! <laughs> this breaker. is so cool. I look got awesome. The quest twice. Yes. You know, I'm gonna feel so poor when we go back. I used to feel really <laughs> poor in here, but now we got freaking bedrock items. Dang, I wish it was possible to take our stuff through the void. I mean, don't you wanna take your bedrock armors back? I wanna bring my nuclear reactors back. Oh, <laughs> uh, I bet you do. <laughs> I think both of those would have problems if we brought either of them back. What do you mean, problems? Back. You know how we can't bring anything real? Uh-huh. 
like we were i was only able to bring the rune because that was like that was a rune thing Aaliyah made for what travel if, what if you put runes on your stuff it's a rune right so what if you just put runes yeah. on items i'd have to have figure out the right rune and it might be different for every item so i'd have only one shot i mean i could guess for one i like maybe i'd get it right but there's also the thing like i have to do it exactly right and i only have one shot because i can't go back here okay so it practically isn't gonna work i see no you want to know something i find it odd but I don't have like a weird sensation of the armor weighing me down as it does, as it did on the other SMP. Here's the thing, I've never worn bedrock armor before, but I would assume it would be somewhat heavy. True. Oh, it's true. I haven't thought about it that way before. I've just forgotten. Yeah, I almost well, forgot myself. That might actually carry back over. You might be able to be a little bit stronger there. I'm not sure if it's just like... Temporary? Yeah, temporary. Finally got it. Which is one step away from what I need. It's working. It's working. And you say this is gonna make Obsidian 600 times faster? So I have the depleted fuel, and now put it in here. It'll process it. I'm almost tempted to make like all, all the elements. All the isotopes. Yeah, I'm sure you are. You're gonna go into the our main area now. I have this, which should be of interest to you. Oh, <gasps> dude! It looks like a head. That's it. Yo! Wait, can we make three of those? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, here we go. It's poo time, baby. Just don't crit me, please. Right. Oh yeah, this is why I got a move. Yeah, right, eat that's your own medicine. Damage. I'm gonna let you bring it down to half. Okay, let's see what mine does. It's gonna one shot, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. There's a chance. Yo, that was uh, over Yo. quickly. Oh. Okay. You ready? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> How's it going down there? That's epic. Can you Whoa, put it? That's so fast. Can you put it in your inventory as well? No. Or does it have to be in your hopper? Oh, inventory. Every time I see you, you're just in this room now. Yeah, I'm doing something on this wall. Can you guess what it is? You're drawing. I'm planning out a machine I'm gonna make. It's it's not useful, not in the slightest. But it's a challenge. Oh my! You won't understand until you see what I just saw. <laughs> Yo, come into the main room. Domino special, am I right? Okay. There you are. Dude! Oh yes. And we have speed. Yep. Speed 2 and haste, haste 2. Haste from the Domino's pizza? The four more quads we get. Which requires more s'more double smingets which require grand crackers for flowers from wheat back up milk chocolate requires molten milk chocolate makes dark chocolate and milk so basically you need all this to make a four s'more quad smingets hit me yeah that's good You've gained two hearts. Your desire to seek something is fully satisfied. Well, I'm going to sleep, that's for sure. You know, how do we sleep with all these animals in here? I like to think I'm just a heavy sleeper. Oh, uh, I sleep very well. It's comforting. Yeah, it's like white noise. <laughs> Interesting floor choice. Yeah, I, I kind of got bored. And so I went with really interesting floor choice. Just don't stare at it too long or you might become hypnotized. Also, I decided that 128 million wasn't enough. So I got us three of these. Six <laughs> if you come out here, you'll notice. <laughs> He's like, oh, if you want, you can get your helmet and any tools. <laughs> 
Where are you? Oh no, that consumes it! Uh. Oops. I think it's time we try out the pickaxes. This is crazy. Just looking back at the nucleus. We could have all max compacts, compact machines in that room. We don't. But it's just so cool to look at the nucleus and realize that, hmm, that was once our starting room. It was super cramped in there. Still is. We had to crawl over each other to get to the chests, and we didn't even have enough space to hold everything. <laughs> and here we are, enchanted bedrock. We also have the ability of flight. Well, the more privileged of us. Sounds like there's fire out there, so. <laughs> okay, you break this block, I'll break this one on three. Are we just, just these two blocks? Why not just like? Okay, well, how about this? How about this? Wait. You do this one on the top, I'll do this one on the bottom. Okay, you ready? We did these two. Okay, fine, I'll reach over your head. I'll do the top, you do the bottom. Oh, we gotta pick them up as well. Oh, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's just more better. Okay, again. Oh! What? Another app. Lava stone? Oh, just in the overworld. Uh, blocks. There's water down there. So that's what all the burning was? Wait, we're, we're just, just in a ball of netherrack and uh, rock. Do you want to just give a little look around for Leah? You think she would have escaped? Maybe we could spend some time looking around for Leah and see if there's any comets. And if there are, we can enter them. Since I've used the coin of flight for so long, you can use that. I'll look along the ground. I'll have the nucleus, so I'll have access to everything. That's okay. I have flight. All right. Here. Dude. I'll go this, way. <laughs> this is amazing. Whoa, it looks so pretty. I love this world. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah I've really enjoyed it. Oh, a village. Oh, wow. It's an old looking village. Guess not everything's quite over the top. It is strange seeing a normal looking landscape while we've been inside the that box where every single thing is different. I don't know where you are, but wherever I am, it's kind of barren. Did you, do you yeah. see anything yet though? I'm not seeing anything. Nothing yet. Though she did say she needed to help a friend. I believe those were her words. I would, I could see why like a friend would need help getting out of one of those boxes. If you weren't there with me, I would need some help getting out of that box. Yeah. It probably would have taken a lot, much longer if either one of us weren't there. Okay, now I've see, I'm in a huge ocean. As far as the eye can see. Oh, <gasps> a mushroom island. Cows. <laughs> Wait. You know, this searching. I don't really think we're gonna find her. Testing out this rune, I haven't been looking too hard for her because the people who are actually searching for her are not here. True, but we just came here to test, so once we go back, yes. and I'm assuming we're gonna keep searching, right? I think we found the rune to be stable enough. When we go back, we can call up Sky and Grace, try and find them, and we can go look. It's mostly to humor them, and I mean, if we do find them, Ilya will probably just say that same things she said to us. They'll at least get it. see her briefly. She did s say she'd be back, and we did tell them that. For now, they need to go find her. I'd rather help them with that than they try and take the rune from me. Oh yeah, that's why I'm here. You're not here solely to keep them away from the rune. So then why am I here? Some of the worlds are likely more dangerous than they could be, though I won't underestimate them, of course. For now, they're content. That's why we built this room over here. Well, on the other side. The anchors worked once. I'm assuming it'll work again. Well, it did before, so I don't see the logic in disagreeing that. It's always good to have fail-safes. Speaking of fail-safes, remember the first time we discovered the void? You sent me there with a void crystal. Yes. How much do you know about that? All I know is that you had them. I don't know how you got them or if you made them. And then that book you said to use them. So I did. Do you know why I 
how do you use them as you did? I can only assume to destroy your experiments that you had. What was the plan? Because I was experimenting with the villager zombification and the reviving. I decided to keep a failsafe per se. I used in crystals to not necessarily destroy the creatures. I thought I could trap the creature, not just kill it, but permanently get rid of its existence with those crystals. I had a clue of what void was, but not like Aaliyah does or what I do now. I thought I could use that to open a pocket of space and take the creature and trap it in it. Or at least use that pocket of space to illuminate its existence from that world that we were in. So you're telling me that you just so happen to be working on the very same technology that we're using now with a rune in a void crystal. Yeah. Wow, you're You weird. see the... <laughs> you saw the runes on it. I wasn't sure what the runes were, but I knew that end crystals had parts from each dimension. If I had enough force and if I directed it right, I could open it, put it in there. And if something went bad, it would not be able to escape. It would just be gone. But instead, <laughs> I put you there. I didn't want that thing to be released. You overloaded the yeah, test system. Yeah, I forced you to go in there with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to keep it in there. And it wasn't an experiment I could let out. I didn't know what it would do. So I stayed in there. I thought I would either die or just be taken in between to the end, rip apart, and meet the same fate as the corruption that's how i discovered really what the void is or accidentally discovered the void travel so i guess you haven't really heard that side of the story before no i do find it curious that i read some of leah's notes and when she was trying to develop a way to travel to specific places without the rune on the back of her head. I believe she wasn't able to use a bow. She wasn't able to use some other things, but she was able to use a flint and steel, and she was able to use different runes, and then found the right combination of runes to make it work. At least, partially. There was random travel, and she was able to anchor it to the library room. Right, so just the bare essentials. I don't think she meant to anchor it. I'm not sure if there's anything special with that room, but she was linked there, and I replicated it, and it seems to work reliably. I find it interesting that one of the things that failed were crystals. I'm not sure if she meant the end crystals, or if it was amethyst crystal, which I would like to see how an amethyst crystal would react to runes and the void. But I think really what she was looking at was end crystals. But you got those to work. So I find it interesting. I was able to get it to work. She was testing it with adding runes to things, sort of like she had the rune on her head, which is how she's able to travel the specific place she wants. I'm not sure if her rune lets her choose, but I know it lets choice happen. Either the end crystal didn't work well with her rune, or adding runes to the void crystal didn't react how she'd like it. It was all in the end crystal. I didn't even add anything to the end crystal. Right, it was just like a two-part package. But the fact that the crystals worked, and brought it up before, long, long time ago, that Leo was fairly close by when that happened. And she was also on the other end when we used the crystals to escape the place. <laughs> Joe! You're right. You're, her presence on the other end and the fact that what? Well, I think her presence on the other end, the fact that your twin Chase was there. I feel like the presence of Chase was able to link us back and the presence of Leah was able to maintain that connection. Or initiate, you could say. I'm not quite sure how it worked. But it worked. But... And that was... Yeah, it worked for us, but didn't work for her. So I wonder what else could trigger the void travel. You just had massive explosions with Aaliyah very close by. Oh man, it's so small, but it feels so homely. So what happens if we strike the rune in this compact room? We would get sent back tiny. Oh, can you imagine? I'm not sure how the void works. That might happen though. I don't want to test our luck. Yeah, we have no way of getting back here so yeah i don't want to be forever tiny that's just not me what i was meaning to say earlier it's been fun figuring all this out but and i would stay longer
You honestly don't want to hear me. I'm in heaven. So what happens if I go like that? Oh, frick. Sweet. Well, I'm in this paradise. Hey, don't you dare pick up my stuff. Did you die? No. Why would I pick up your stuff? No, I was talking to the villager. You could keep on making it impossible to keep going. You've been running about this all night. Was that Do you want to go home? Rooster? Yes. All right. Set down the cow. All right, Jill. You're free. Go live your life. This is my fourth or fifth quad smingot since I've been trying to say we need to go. Let us go on the same block that we spent so much time in. The nucleus. I won't try and say what I was going to say because you're not going to listen. Okay. <laughs> 